And now I'm here at the beautiful retail and exhibition space Craft NI to talk to Andrea McManus. So Andrea, here you are, open again. How'd you find lockdown? It was difficult, it was a bit challenging, but um, we got through it. Uh, mm. It's great to see the space opening up again and it's great to be able to welcome uh, the public and to let them engage with craft again. Mm. So we're really delighted. I mean, it's a very important asset, obviously for not just the public, but for artists, because this is a place where they can sell their work, which is obviously was more difficult during lockdown. It was, yes, yeah, so we really appreciate that opportunity to be open again. We have a wonderful gallery space here, so uh, we have a great exhibition program throughout the year. Mm -hmm. So that's ongoing and we also have a small retail space, a gallery space that showcases around 52 Northern Irish makers. So yes, I suppose for artists it's extremely important that we are open and the public can engage with us. And tell me about the exhibition you have on at the minute. The exhibition we have on at the minute is Launchpad. Um, it's going to run until the 22nd of July and it uh, basically um, shows the work of the four participants in um, Craft and Ice professional development program from last year. Mm -hmm. Uh, the participants are ceramicists Anne Butler and Anna Smith and Claire Mooney and um, Claire Skelton which are, um, who are jewellery makers. What do you have yes. after that? I mean, tell us what's happening over the next couple of months. So August Craft Month will be basically our main event for the summer. Um, it's just a month-long celebration basically of um, Northern Irish craft. We'll have a new exhibition uh, which is Renew. On Craft and I, uh, on our website, we'll have a calendar with all the activities that will be available mm. to the public. It's great to have, to just invite, I suppose, public to participate in craft and just engage with craft makers. There will be some online events and some studio events. So definitely it's worth keeping an eye 